Hello, Domestic Ginger here. I'm going to be making an apple pie um, the quick way because I'm going to cheat because the pie crust. I really suck at making crust. Um, so you're going to need the crust. You're going to need, um, I think, four large apples. I did six, but I think four might be enough. Lemon juice, white sugar, brown sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, and you're also going to need a tablespoon of flour um, and just put it in, you know, just put it in there. As you can see, I'm also making chicken pot pie. Um, so anyway, you take a tablespoon of lemon juice and put it in with the apples. I already did that to help them stop from browning because they started to brown like as I was cutting them. I guess I was doing it too slow. Um, okay. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in about um, a half a cup of white sugar. And then you need a quarter cup of brown sugar. Okay, if you get the clumps or whatever, um, I don't know, you can just squish them with like one of these. There we go. Oops. And then you need just a pinch of nutmeg. Nutmeg is actually pretty strong when it's in food. And then you need one tablespoon of cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon. And I also forgot to add um, vanilla. I like to add vanilla. So just a little squirt. I also forgot the dash of salt. And then you just mix it all up. Alright, once this is all mixed up, you put... Let me throw this in the oven. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait, put holes on the top, like four of them in the middle. Okay, um, so you put your bottom part of your crust in there and then just kind of pour all of your apples in it. Hot, isn't it? <laughs> My assistant was helping me with the chicken pot pie. Oh, I think that's a little too much. So I pretty much use about um, four apples. Then you take your top half, throw it on top. And yes, my hands are clean. You want to create like a little circle around it. Now I'm going to get my fork. Just fold the edges 
like this and kind of make sure that the bottom layer is getting squished into the to the top. <laughs> That's my dog Molly making weird noises over there. Okay, my oven is officially preheated to 425. Use your fork to just make the the pie indentations. And it also helps make sure that the bottom and top layer are nice and squished together, otherwise you're gonna have juices like everywhere. Okay, and then poke some holes so it can breathe. Take some foil and cover up the crust. Because if you don't, what happens is the crust ends up burnt. Now she's all ready and since my oven is preheated to 425 I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them on in there okay so my phone decided to restart like in the middle of a video um, so anyway um, go ahead and after 20 minutes of your pie being in the oven take it out and take off the foil and then put it right back in the oven Okay, so after another 20 minutes in the oven, it is all finished. So this is our lovely apple pie. And it was quick. Other than, you know, the um, throwing it in the oven part. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy. Have a good one.